and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Donnie and Sands. This of course is learn how to edit stuff. And today we're talking about plugins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and issue a trigger warning on this video because all of the plugins that we're talking about today do cost money. So I don't wanna hear, why are you making me spend money? Why can't I just torrent all these plugins? Well, the short answer is your end product will be significantly better because the tools in your toolbox are gonna be better than the ones that you currently are working with now. And also don't torrent anything. You can get viruses, Russian hackers can steal all of your personal information and also support the creators, the creators of these plugins, the people that are spending years of their life developing this amazing piece of software that makes your life easier. Spending 20, 30 bucks, whatever it is, supports them. It supports you. It's a whole circle of support. You guys got to support. All right, trigger warning out of the way. Now we can jump into the good stuff. All five of the plugins that we're going to be talking about today, I use every single day for every single project that I work on. I usually use all five of them, but I will at least use one of them for everything. I find tremendous value in all the things that we're going to talk about today, and I hope that you do too. So if you see anything that catches your eye, you really got to have it, you really think it's awesome, links in the video description below for you guys to check it out as well. But let's dive in my top five most used and most recommended plugins for video editors. All right, down here on my timeline, I've got some Fortnite clips that I cut together. Let's check it out. All right, it's okay. It's very basic edits down here on the timeline, just cutting from clip to clip, but it could be better. And how could it be better? By spicing it up with some transitions between our scenes. Let's check out the handy seamless transition pack inside Premiere Pro, something that I use all the time. Ah! So right down here in my project window, I have a folder called transitions. And if we open up that folder, you will see down here how many things we have access to in this pack. We have aberrations, fades, flares, glitches, motion shake, offset, pan, perspective. All of these things are really amazing and they're so easy to use. So hypothetically, I wanna add a nice zoom transition right down here between my first two clips, I will open up the zoom folder and I will maybe come in here to the hit folder and I will use the zoom hit out. I will simply drag and drop that straight onto my timeline. And you just have to line up the first edit point in these transitions with the edit on your timeline right down here. So we will zoom in, make sure that it is accurate. It is lined up perfectly. And now let's demo that. And in a matter of seconds, I have created a really cool zoom transition. If we go frame by frame here, we're doing some chromatic aberration. We're doing a little bit of motion shake and we're doing a nice lens distortion zoom out of my clip into the next scene. And now for this next one, what if I wanted to add a zoom in? I'm gonna do the same thing and just drag and drop this, making sure to line up my transitions. And now guys, I've added a nice zoom in effect back to my character and we'll do one more zoom out just for the heck of it. Why not? Check this out. And that's just one folder of this transition pack. There are a lot of folders and a lot of things packed inside of this transition pack that are absolutely amazing. And you can preview them very simply by coming down here to any of these folders, double clicking on them, and then make sure that your icon view is turned on right here. And you can just very simply scrub through these transitions and kind of see what they look like before getting into it. And if you were to buy this transition pack, there are a load of tutorials that come with the pack as well to show you exactly how to use it. It comes in a multitude of resolutions, 1080, and 4K and all of that stuff. You can do custom resolutions, but this pack is massive. There are a lot of different folders in here and keeping this transition folder inside of all of your projects will give you the ability to just drag and drop onto your timeline and create super awesome, smooth transitions in a matter of seconds. Guys, as a video editor, time is your most valuable resource hands down. Trust me, I've been doing this for a really long time. The more time you have and the more time you can save, the better your end product will be. So having a go-to folder of just drag and drop awesomeness is key. Now, of course, you can make these yourself. You can use adjustment layers, all the built-in things inside of Premiere, but that's going to take you a lot of time. And I always say time is mo money is time. You've heard me say that before. So for this transition pack, the price point of this guy is $43. That is not a lot of money to spend on on a multitude of really amazing transitions that are just drag and drop simple that you can just throw right onto your timeline and be cooking with gas and move right onto the next thing because the creative flow and the time that you're spending is the most important resource for you and me, but mostly for, for us, for us. Again, links in the video description below for all the stuff that we're gonna be talking about today, the handy seamless transition pack for Premiere Pro. I will also include a couple other links in the video description that are a little bit cheaper. If you guys don't wanna spend the 43, maybe you'll wanna spend a 20 or something like that. I don't know. 
know, we're moving on to my next favorite plugin. It is the Neat Video Noise Reduction plugin. You guys are gonna lose it. So down here on my timeline, I have a nice shot of some hangers in my closet that I purposely shot at 12,800 ISO. And you can just see the awful noise that is happening in the blacks in this scene because it was a dark closet. My ISO was boosted really, really high. And if you guys are used to shooting in low light situations and have to boost your ISO a lot, you'll always understand and always see the amount of noise and grain that you have in your shadowy areas. And it is just awful. It makes your video look really subpar and just not beautiful. But check this plugin out. You're, oh my God, okay. I'm going to drop Neat Video Noise Reduction right on the clip. I'm going to click Prepare and then Build and it will open up the Neat Video Noise Reduction interface. And this is a very, very complex and advanced program. If you want it to be, you can do specular noise reduction and luminous noise reduction and like do all these adjustments and all this crazy stuff. But it's also very, very easy to use for novices or somebody who's a beginner who just wants to get rid of some noise. Check this out, it's very simple. I'm going to click and drag a box over the area in which I want to get rid of the noise, just like that. And and then I'm going to click build profile and then I'm going to click apply and that's all I'm going to do and holy mother of God look at how much of the noise it is actually getting rid of I'm going to trigger this on and off look at that it is bananas how much noise it gets rid of and maybe I can play this we'll see we'll see if it plays back look at that oh my god there's no noise anymore it's insane. This plugin is absolutely god tier. And guys, I shoot a lot of low light stuff in my job. I am the director of One Up Studios for Team Liquid. And in esports events, it's always low light, kind of like crappy lighting, and everything's really dark. So I use this plugin on pretty much everything I shoot every single time. It is absolutely incredible. It gets rid of so much noise, makes your footage look so much cleaner. High, high, high recommendation from me. And the price point for neat video noise reduction is $74.90 just for the Premiere Pro integration. You can bundle it for Premiere and After Effects for a little bit more money, but I don't think you really need the After Effects one. Just for Premiere has worked totally fine for me. $74.90, it will save all of your low light footage. It will make everything look incredible. It makes the camera that you're shooting on look like it was way more pro than it actually is. It's an amazing plugin, trust me. And we are moving on to Red Giant Universe. You guys have heard me mention this before, but I'm gonna mention it again in this dedicated video about plugins. Red Giant Universe, holy moly, let's jump in. So if I come down here to my video effects folder and scroll down, you will see I have a bunch of different folders labeled RG Universe and then Blur, Distort, Generators, Glow, Motion Graphics, Stylized, Text, and Utilities. And within each of these folders, there are a multitude of incredible plugins that you can just drag and drop straight onto your footage. Now down here, I have this little Fortnite clip of me with my glider, cool, whatever. I'm gonna drop in, I don't know, maybe some chromatic aberration. I'm gonna drop that right down here on my clip and automatically you can see some really cool stuff it's doing. And if I come down here into my effect controls, I can just kind of mess with these sliders, turn up the master distortion. I can turn up the red distortion a little bit and I can turn up the red scale and I can just start really messing with all of this stuff. But the really, really cool thing about Red Giant Universe is if you click on choose a preset, it will open up the Red Giant Universe dashboard. And within this dashboard, you can kind of preview all of the different chromatic aberration effects just by simply hovering over all of these thumbnails and you can kind of preview what it's gonna look like. Now, I can get out of the chromatic aberration presets and go back to all the universe effects and down here you can see there's blurs, distortions, generators, glows, and you can just kind of hover over all of these to see what it looks like. And there's a lot of really, really awesome stuff that you can do all from within this plugin. And if I were to go into detail on every single one of these things, this tutorial would be like two hours long and I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna tell you that it is absolutely incredible and I use this stuff all the time for a variety of different things. The price point on this one, don't get too scared, $199 for the year. It is an annual subscription license for Red Giant Universe. It is worth every penny. But if you guys are a college student and you have a college ID, you can get Red Giant Universe for $95 a year, which is awesome. So if you're a college student, definitely take the discount super hard. This plugin is incredible. It does everything you could ever want. It saves you a tremendous amount of time and gives you a much better end product at the end of the road that just makes your videos look more impressive. Again, links in the video description below for you guys to check out all the information about all of these plugins because we can't cover every little nuance and detail today because this video would take so long. But I just want to tell 
you what I really like and what helps me out every day. Red Giant Universe, amazing plugin. We are moving on to Mount MoGraph Motion V2. This plugin is insane. I use it for everything motion graphics related inside of After Effects. It does so much complicated, amazing stuff. And it also makes the very simple things that you need to do in After Effects way easier. Let's jump in and check it out. Inside of After Effects, I have a white ball on my timeline. No motion going on right now, but I want to direct your attention right over here to the Motion V2 little integration on the side over here. There's a couple different sliders and a bunch of different buttons down here. Now, all of these buttons do incredible things. We're not gonna go through all of them today, but we will go through some of them. But what I really wanna show you guys is these sliders right here. And just these sliders is worth the price of admission 100% for this plugin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a very simple movement with this ball going from top to bottom, just like that. Now, if I play this, After Effects defaults to linear keyframes, so it just looks very linear and dry and nothing really going on here. But I can highlight these keyframes and I can come up here and this is my ease in, this is my middle, and this is my ease out controls. And if I were to just take this top slider and slide it all the way up, you'll see that my keyframes have now changed from linear to Bezier. And what it's doing is it's gonna lag on the front and shoot down towards the bottom and give me much more dynamic movement really, really easily, really simply. And if I highlighted these keyframes and showed you the graph editor, you can see exactly what it's doing. It's doing an upward curve like that. But now if I take these keyframes and take this slider all the way down and put up the ease out, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ease straight to the bottom. And if I showed you my graph editor right here, it's doing the opposite movement in my graph editor. And this saves a lot of time. Anytime I do any animation, I'll just throw keyframes down and just ease it out because it just smooths it out so nicely and just makes it so awesome. Now say I wanted this ball to hit the floor and just kind of do a bounce. Now I could do that manually, sure, but all of these buttons over here do incredible things and I'm not gonna go through all of them today. There's a link in the video description below. It's like 42 minutes long of the developer talking about all these insane features, but we're gonna look at one today and it's called jump and it's really cool. Check this out. I'm just gonna highlight my layer and click jump. And what that's gonna do is as soon as it hits its bottom point, it's gonna automatically make it bounce back. And I can come up here and I can control all of these different parameters, mainly the gravity. So I'm gonna give it a lot more gravity, maybe, I don't know, let's try 60 and check this out. All I had to do was click one button and it's absolutely incredible what this plugin does. All right, I'm gonna delete these real quick. And because we have a little bit of time for some more, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna move it over here. And then I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna move it this way real quick. And then I'm gonna show you one more quick thing, highlighting these keyframes and I'm gonna click warp. And what that's gonna do is it's going to stretch my ball from point A to point B and just kind of make a really nice motion trail. And basically all of these buttons right here are tagged to different things in After Effects and it automatically sets them all up for you. And all you have to do is kind of come in here and tweak all of these parameters to get exactly what you want out of the deal. It is absolutely incredible. The other really amazing thing about this plugin is if I click on my layer, I can come over here to the rocket ship and I can now position my anchor point in different parts of my shape layers just by clicking on this little grid, which is something incredible that you can't do in After Effects natively. So literally, just this top half of this plugin is worth the price of admission for everything that you get and it is a lot of stuff. What is the price of admission you ask? Only $40, which is insanely cheap for everything that you get get in this plugin. It has helped me tremendously just make all of my motion graphics look a lot cleaner, a lot smoother, and I get there a lot faster than if I were to do it manually. It is absolutely insane. Links in the video description below. Go watch the video. It's nuts. 40 bucks, Mount MoGraph, Motion V2. Highly, highly, highly recommended from me to you. And last but not least, Gift Gun. It is exactly what it sounds like. It helps you make amazing gifts inside of After Effects really, really simply and has a lot of really cool features. Let's just check it out real fast. So on my timeline down here, I've got this cheeky little Fortnite thing. It zooms into the barrel and it says goodbye, haha. -ha. If I wanted to post that on Twitter as a GIF, how do I do that? Well, using GIF Gun, that's exactly what we're here for. So check this out, guys. This timeline down here, I'm gonna come up to GIF Gun. It is only two buttons. It is Make GIF and a Settings tab. So we're gonna open up the Settings tab so I can show you exactly what's going on here. I am resizing to 506 pixels wide because that is the Twitter recommended in timeline GIF width. The frame rate is gonna be the same as my composition. I'm doing 256 colors. I'm going to render it with the lossless preset. I am not going to compress it. I'm going to have faster resize selected and I'm going to turn it on in infinite loop. And if you guys buy this plugin, you should experiment with all of these different settings, but these are the ones that work best for what I use it for, which is literally just making GIFs and putting them on Twitter. That's all I use it for. It's amazing. And then I'm just going to click make a GIF. And what it's going to do is it's going to take my timeline. It will render it out just like normal in After Effects. 
And when it is done, ladies and gentlemen, you will have a nice GIF that you just made in After Effects that you can then take and upload to Twitter, send to your friends via iOS or whatever messaging app you're using, and you've just made your own creative little GIF. So if you've shot something of your friends that's really goofy, drop it in After Effects, create a nice little GIF, send it away, they'll appreciate you forever, and I appreciate you forever also. The price for admission for Gift Gun is $29.99, which is not that much. It's not that little, but it's also not that much. So if you prioritize making funny GIFs of all the footage that you're using, you should absolutely 100% get this plugin. Anyways, guys, all five of the plugins that we talked about today are my most used and most recommended plugins for you, whether you're a novice, beginner, more advanced. If you've never heard of these plugins before, a lot of these will absolutely change the game for you. It will make people more impressed by your work. It will save you a tremendous amount of time and you will learn a whole hell of a lot by diving into all the nitty gritty little aspects of all of these plugins and see how they work and see what they're doing. And it will just up your level and up your game by a tremendous amount. It did for me and I know it will for you too. Again, just in case you didn't hear me the other 10 times, links in the video description below for you guys to check out all of these plugins. I do not make anything off of recommending them to you. I just want to recommend them to you because they are amazing and they will help you out tremendously. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Tweet at me, at Naughty and Sands. Make a suggestion, I'll make a video for you. That's how this relationship works. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I will see you next time.